Sky Sports, Jim White. Uh, welcome back to the New 07 channel. Um, today's video, breaking news, it came in last night. Vakun Isuf Bayou is officially left Celtic on a permanent deal. He departs Celtic um, having sealed a permanent move to KAA Ghent on a four year contract. Every course of national move to Celtic from Slovakian side. Dinashkia Streda during January 2019 moved in to look plan for Bio. He only made nine appearances and scored two goals to Rooks during his limited opportunities at the club. He went on loan during the 2020-21 season to French League, League, League 2 side, League 1 2, if you want to call that if you're French <coughs> side, <coughs> Toulouse, where he made 31 appearances and scored 10 goals. It's an interesting, it's a very interesting um, story. Um, more realistically, it should be Griffiths is, is out the door. But we're now here talking on the 10th of July. Bio's out the door. He sealed a four year deal with Ghent. Um, it realistically, as I said, it should be Griffiths out, not Bio. We're, we're, lack, we're lacking strikers as it is, you know. As Bio gone now, um, you know, I, you, he might have got a chance under and Postcoglu, but it's all about what Bio wants, you know what I mean? I mean, Bio dropped out of the Olympic squad just to get this move done. So, you know, um, we're lacking strikers. So maybe if Bio did come back to Celtic after his loan move from Toulouse, you know, potentially he would have got a chance from Dallas Post Club to see what he'd done because we're lacking strikers at the moment. You know, Griffiths, no way he should ever play for Celtic again. So you got a Yeti and Edward, and then you go to your young players at your Colts or your youth team. You know, you're struggling in that. You're struggling. So, potentially, you know, Bio was the one that was going to be the third, you know, the third striker in that. But we're going to have to send a striker out because Griffiths, no way he sh should ever pull on a Celtic jersey again. No way. Um, on his loan last season to Toulouse, he made 31 appearances and scored 10 goals. You know, if we had him in the team last season, he could have done something, you know. Uh, but no, no, there's no way. No, mind. No, he never. I mean, at least we had a striker last season, you know. Well, Len still wouldn't have played much, but I would like to see Bio back at the team for this season coming up because it's was, it was a big rebuild and it would have been an extra striker that, you know, that we, we, need, we needed, you know, at the club. It's another, another person at the door. Um, I don't see how much he went for, but it is estimated around like one point something million. Um, he moved his move. Um, so, here we go. So, over the window now, we have let go of Jeremy Thrimpel for 9.9 .9 million, Patrick Kamala for 3.93 million, and Vatican Isif Bayo for 1.44 million. Since January 27, Celtic have received 15.27 million in transfer fees and are free from Duffy, Moy, Kenny, and lacks of wages. If I and Eddie's inevitable departure, I'm expecting some seeds for recruitment here. I am. I, I am. I'm expecting, you know, Matt Ryan, he was on the news the other day. Really interesting. I really, you know, we need that lucky keeper because Matt Ryan, obviously, and Post Club's wheelman are still in national team. Um, you know, we could, we can, prop, we can afford Starfield. Definitely, you could, you could definitely afford um, Vuskovic and um, a couple other people. I don't, I'm not too sure on a lot of people, but the main only people we spoke about Vuskovic, Starfield, Ryan. We could afford. We can afford them. We have got fifteen point two seven million. million. Maybe we're just waiting on that money coming in for Bio. Maybe we're, you know, we're just waiting on that, and then now we can get the. You know, now we can get the the chances we want done, maybe potentially and possibly once done. But Iron Iyer, Iron Eddie's probably gonna go. I know you've seen him pre season, it's like it's really good to see him in pre season scoring uh, you know, it's a good goal. Uh but it's more than that he's gonna he's gonna potentially potentially leave this summer. As if he gets a chance for, you know, Celtic I know Norwich City are dropping out of Iron potential uh, of now because Celtic went like fifteen million from him Norwich are only going to offer like nine million, so it's not what Celtic want. Um, but you can't kind of forget, obviously Jack Hendry's sale as well. Um, but yeah, um, he did walk out of the Ivory Coast Olympic football squad to enter and he talks to the country move from Scotland for Belgium. He signed for an to close fee until 2025 and struggled for form and game during his, uh, his time at Celtic. He made just nine league appearances in two seasons, failing to score a Premiership goal before he loaned out to France last summer. New boss Sanchez Boscov allowed the striker to join up with the international side rather than join up for a pre season cycle and he was not a part of his plans. Okay, now I get it now he wasn't part of his plans, but realistically, that should be like Griffiths out the door. Um 
understand Bio doesn't want to be the club anymore, but you know, you're talking now, we need another striker now, you know what I mean? Um, two more, potentially two more strikers now. Uh, so it's going to be really, really hard to try and get, um, try and get strikers in the doors. Vizkovic, Starfelt in the door. By the time this Michelin game, no, it's not long until the Michelin game. Um, I'm pretty sure it is not long, but let's check. It's only 20th of July, 10 days time. We play Michelin at Celtic Park, I'm pretty sure. Is it Celtic Park? Yeah, 10 days time, we play Michelin in the Champions League second qualifying round first leg at Celtic Park so we're, we're going to struggle we're not in a we're not I mean you can say you know we're going up now I'm, I'm, I'm smiling about Celtic now again finally um, decent pre-season so far today's game on the card and it's against Charlton it's kicked off 3 o'clock so it's going to be interesting today um, you'll probably play more of the, the boys that came back from international duty the game you know what his best formation is and what best players to play at the, on the park for the season to come ahead but yeah guys, um, that's really it, um, really it to be honest, um, I'll do my Jim White, Sky Sports, I'm back to tell you this before I go, before we go, subscribe and like, Vakunas of Bio has sealed his 4 year deal to K Gent, a 4 year contract, that is for 1.44 million to Celtic, uh, from Celtic to Gent. That's me, Jim White. Subscribe to Daniel7. I'll see you next video.